The average height of a human is 5 foot 4 inches. And the average height of a sapient indigenous Navi from Avatar 2 is 9 foot 10 inches. Their physical appearance is incredibly impressive. So today we're going to create a sketch illustration of Deitiri from Avatar 2. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle along the center of our page. Now we move to a side grip, sketching with the flat edge. Let's start from the very top. Just going to lightly work our way around the left side, coming in towards the center of our circle. Go all the way around the right side. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to eventually erase this out. Now with our circle in place, we're going to add a set of guidelines. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center, starting from the very top. Bring this line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll extend that up towards the top. Let's add another set of guidelines on the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, coming all the way down, up towards the top, and do the same thing on the right. Now you want to add a few more guidelines going across from left to right. So we'll start from the center of our circle, extend this out toward the left side, and then the right, add another line across the top of our circle, and then the bottom to create a box around that circle. Now from here we're going to locate the inside corner of the eyes. From the center of our circle, we're going to step over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Let's take that same distance over on the right and do the same thing. Let's add two circles along the outside, starting on the left, going all the way around towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the inside of the eyes, we're going to angle the nose coming down towards the bottom of our circle. So we'll start on the left, and angle this down, in towards the bottom, do the same thing on the right. From the center of our circle, we're just going to curve the nose going up and then out towards that line. And connect the ends with a curve, coming down and up. Let's go to the tip of the nose, step down, draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now this will be the center edge of the mouth. Let's add some detail to the upper lip. From the center, we step up, angle up and out toward the left and right side. And then from the top, curve the lip going out and then down towards the side. Let's connect the corners of the mouth with another curve, coming down and then up in the middle, come down and up on the right side. Now we go back and add a little bit more shape to the eyes. Let's start from the top of the circle, curve this in and then down. And then from the top, go out and then down, just past the side of our circle. Now from the outside of the eyelid, curve this down and then in towards the bottom of the eye. Let's add two small circles in the center for the pupils. And just darken that up. And then from here, we're going to add some shape to the outside of the head. Let's start from the lower lip and step down, just mark off the chin with a straight line. And then from the outside of our circle, draw two straight angle lines coming down and in towards that mouth line. And then from the jaw, come down and in towards the chin. Let's go back up to the top and add in the ears. From the left side of our circle, we're going to step up, curve the ear going up, and then bend that out toward the side. And then from the tip of the ear, curve this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's add a little bit more shape to the hairline. Starting from the top of the ear, curve this up and in. And we'll connect the top with a curve, going up towards the top of our circle, and then back down. Now from the top of the head, right in the middle, we're just going to curve the hair going up toward the left, and just bring that down on top of the ear. And we'll do the same thing on the right, going up, and then bringing that down. 
from the top of these two curves, you're gonna go up in the middle and then bring that back down. Now I'm gonna bring the hair coming down the side of the head. Let's start underneath the left ear. Start by coming straight down. And we'll bend that out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Let's go to the jaw, step in, draw the neck. Starting with the left, come straight down towards the bottom, right about there. Go to the right side, step in, come down a little bit shorter. And from here, we're just gonna curve the neck coming down and across towards the left. Let's go to the bottom of the neck on the left side. We're gonna step up, we're gonna slope the shoulders, coming down and then out. And then on the right side, go out and then down. Now I'm going to add a guideline for a braid coming down across the right ear. We'll start right in the middle, going up, coming down, and then bend that across on top of the shoulder. Now we're also going to add that feather on the left side. Let's we'll start from the inside of the ear, draw a straight angle line coming down across the side of the neck. Go back up to the top, angle goes down and out and then pull that all the way down towards the bottom. Let's add some guidelines across the top of the head. We'll start from the inside of the left eye, curve this up and then out. Do the same thing on the right, bend this out and then down towards the side of the head. Let's go up to the top of the head, step down, curve this down and out toward the left and the right side, curve in and then down towards the center of our circle. Now I want to add some stripes along the side. Let's start from the left side of the head. Start with the curve coming down and in. Line this up on the right side. Come in and then down towards the bottom. And then from here we're going to work our way up. Stepping up, curve down and in. Move up and add a shorter curve. Let's add a couple more on either side down and in, just on top of the eye. Move down, come in and down towards the eyebrow. And then add one more along the side. Now that we have our basic sketch, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, we have a better look at the proportions. Now with these eyes, we want to make them a little bit bigger. So starting from the top, I'm just going to extend that circle going out towards the side. And then back up on the inside. And I'll do the same thing on the right. Let's go back and lightly erase that inner circle. As well as the pupil. and it'll reposition the pupil in the center of that eye. And now once we're happy with the proportions, we can go back with the tip of pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the top of the left eye. Just gonna bring the eyelid down on top of that circle, working our way in towards the tear duct. I'm just darkening up the upper eyelid. And work our way down towards the bottom. And I'm just going to move over and do the same thing on the right.
dark enough for the center of the pupil. And I'm going to add a fold on the top of each eye. the side edge of our pencil. We're just going to add some eyelashes on the top. And just shading this in. Also adding a light shadow underneath each eye. down and start detailing out the notes. Add a shadow from the nose coming down towards the nose. And move down and start adding some detail to the mouth, starting from the center. Maybe a slight bend going out towards the corner of the mouth. Tracing out the top and we'll shade that in. I'm just going to go a little bit heavier with the shadow on the right side, coming in towards the center. And with the tip of our pencil, it's going to add some texture to the lower lip. Now let's go back and add some shadows across the top of the eye, starting with a curve, going up and out. And we'll darken up the top and fade that down. We're also adding a shadow across the bottom of the eye.
Now we're just going to move out to the side and start adding some detail and shape to the head. So let's start with the cheekbones. Just pulling that in. And then layer the jaw in underneath and rounding out the jaw. And with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to enhance those shadows underneath the cheekbones. Just fading that out as you come in towards the mouth. Just going to go a little bit darker over on the right side. Lightly add that fold on the side of the nose. And from here, it's going to add some more shape to the ears. We'll start along the top, just rounding out that point. side. And we'll lightly add those folds inside the ear. Let's add a shadow on the inside of the ear, going up towards the tip, and then blending that down. Now we're going to go in with the side edge of our pencil and add a light shade to the entire head. Now from here, it's going to move up to the top with the side edge of our pencil and just soften up the edge of the hairline. So just pulling that across the edge of the head, coming down and in. Just working our way across the right side. Now from here, we're going to go in and start darkening up those markings across the head. So we'll start with the center. And working our way across the brow.
I'm just going to add a darker shadow over on the right side. And we'll just blend that in. Now we're going to move up and start adding the dreads. Using a swirling motion with the side edge of our pencil, I'm just going to start along the top edge of the side braid. And going across the center along the top. And from here, just going to work our way in towards the side of the head. Let's bring this braid on the right side across the ear. Come all the way down and then across the shoulder. I'm just going to add a guideline for the chain across the neck. Just block out those beads. And we'll detail this out with the tip of our pencil. Go back to the outside and extend those braids along the side coming down towards the bottom. And from here we'll just work our way in. Just layering these braids side by side. We'll darken up the area around the bottom of the head.
Now we're just going to add a dark shadow just underneath the head, going across the top of the neck. Just going to go a little bit darker along the top, and then just blend that down. Now going back on the tip of the pencil, it's going to add some more texture to those braids.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Neytiri from Avatar 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.